Is G Fuel still the number one drink for gamers? Let's find out. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today we're taking a break from the templates and the tutorials and the computer stuff just to do this more fun video. We're revisiting a video that I did a couple months ago. So last year, Razer hit the market with their own energy drink for gamers called Respawn. And when that came out last year, we did a video called G Fuel versus Razer Respawn, where I got some Blue Raspberry G Fuel, I got the Blue Raspberry Razer Respawn, and at the end of the video, we decided that I thought G Fuel was a little bit better. G Fuel tasted better it had a little bit less of an artificial taste and i wasn't able to finish all of my respawn it was a little bit too sweet for me and then the g fuel i was able to kill it and i've been drinking g fuel ever since and i love it but that doesn't mean i can't throw all bias aside and do another video on comparing g fuel versus razor respawn now respawn's been out for a while now so we can actually see what the top flavor is and by far people seem to be enjoying the red flavor and the green flavor so we're doing the green apple everyone's been loving the green apple i've been watching tons of reviews of razor respawn everyone's been saying their favorite is the green apple and G Fuel also has a green apple plus it's the color of razor so we got to do the razor respawn in green but let's go ahead and get right into comparing these if you guys have not seen the first video that I did when we did the blue raspberry respawn versus G Fuel make sure you click the card up there or the link in the description and check it out and now we're going to do green apple so let's get right into it and we're going to do the respawn first so on the back of the respawn it says to add one stick to 16 to 20 ounces of water and then on the back of the G Fuel it says to add it to 12 to 16 ounces of water so we're going to be going to the end of the spectrum and using the least recommended water so for the respawn we're going to add it to 16 ounces of water and then on the g fuel we're going to add it to 12 ounces of water so this is going by the instructions exactly what they say to get the most flavorful packet of respawn and g fuel so there was exactly 16 ounces of cold water using this thing to measure to make sure we're exactly at 16 ounces ounces and we're gonna be shaking it inside of the PewDiePie G Fuel shaker. Whoa, oh my god. Powder went straight into my nose. <coughs> in to the shaker, everything in the package into 16 ounces of cold water. Let's go ahead and add the lid to it. And now it's time to shake. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is enough shaking. We've been shaking for just over 30 seconds, I believe, and it's time to take a look at this beautiful Razer Respawn. Now it's in kind of a blue tinted shaker. So just like in the first episode of G Fuel versus Razer Respawn, we're breaking back out the wine glasses and it's time to pour in the Razer Respawn into a wine glass. As you can see, it's got that vibrant respawn green or the vibrant Razer green. It looks very, very artificial. But before we drink this, Smells very good, but before we drink this, we're gonna go ahead and make the G Fuel. All right, so we got 12 ounces of water inside the same shaker. I washed it out crazy good, so you don't have to worry about me tasting any of the respawn in here, I promise. Oh yeah, that smells really good as well. So, G Fuel, going into 12 ounces of water, like it says in the instructions, to get the most flavorful G Fuel. So now, lid on top, and we are going to shake this now. I said in the last episode of this, in the first G Fuel versus Razor Respawn, that I thought G Fuel had a bit of a powdery flavor, and for some reason everyone in the comments, a lot of people disagreed with me, which I don't get. Um, I think a lot of people think that it has a powdery flavor, it's got that pre-workout taste, and a lot of people were saying, you weren't shaking it long enough. And somebody went as far as to say, how long are you shaking it? I said, eh, about 30 seconds. And they said, shake it for two minutes. They said, I went to the website and checked and it says two minutes to shake it. So I decided to go to the website and check. And look, what is G Fuel? We go down here into the instructions, make it, shake it five to 10 seconds. This guy was telling me in the comments to shake it for two minutes. If you're still getting a powdery taste after 30 seconds, then it's definitely not due to the shaking because 30 seconds is definitely enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough shaking. Oh my gosh, I shook that so hard just to see if I could fix the powdery flavor of the G Fuel. But you can see it's a much more dark green, but it looks it looks like it shows up through the blue um, shaker cup a little bit better. And here we go. This is what G Fuel looks like in the green apple. All right, so we are done with our making of drinks. We've got G Fuel right here, and we've got Respawn right here. First thing I'm noticing is that the Respawn is see-through, and the G Fuel is not. This is Respawn here, and you can see it's got a much waterier look to it. Like, I can see the camera through it. This is completely opaque. Like, I can't see through it at all. That's kind of interesting. Okay, hold up, I gotta get a thumbnail. 
All right. All right, so now I think I just got to try it. I'm going to go ahead and go for the G Fuel first. So let's go ahead and try this. Wow. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of green apple. I'm fine with it. It's not my favorite flavor. I don't hate it, but that is very good. Okay, I'm not usually a fan of green apple at all, but I honestly can't stop drinking this uh, green apple G Fuel. This is incredible. I'm definitely going to have to start drinking more of this. I normally drink just back here. You can see I drink the sour blue chug rug and I drink the PewDiePie flavor, but the, the, the green apple... It's time for the respawn. Oh, man, that is really good. It is a little strong because I did do the least amount of water that they recommended. But we did that with the respawn as well. So let's see what the most powerful respawn would taste like. What? I don't even know how to describe it. Okay. It tastes like green apple. I'll give them that. But it's like... The flavor, you get hit with green apple, and then it's just gone. Like, it changes. The flavor just changes to just, like, just sweet. Like, it's green apple, and then it's just sugar. Green apple, sugar. Like, it's just immediately gone. And it's a very light taste. It's a light-tasting drink. It tastes like you're, or feels like you're drinking water. It's not thick. It's just very, like, the flavor is not very apparent compared to this. Like, it seems like a much thicker, like, fuller flavor in the G Fuel. Okay, so in the last video, we compared... Um, my gaming performance as well. I did mention that you got to take that with a grain of salt. It's really just how I was playing that day just for fun. Pretty much. I just started drinking a respawn before gaming and then a G fuel before gaming. I did perform better while drinking the G fuel, but once again, I don't think that has anything to do with anything, but today we're going to be, we're going to be comparing something else and that is shipping. So I know that you can order respawn and G fuel from Amazon and I am a prime member. So I would have gotten it in two days, but I decided to order it directly from the source directly from their website for both of them, just to see how much their internal shipping, like how, how it works, how quickly I can get it. So they both shipped on the same exact day. I ordered them on the same day. They both shipped on the same exact day. So I ordered the G Fuel. One day went by. Then the second day it shipped. Then another day. Then another day. And then it was there. So it was one day to ship it or about a day and a half to ship it. And then two days to deliver it. Respawn, same thing. I ordered it. A day went by. And then they shipped it the next day. So a day, about a day and a half to ship. But then it took them an extra week to get me the respawn. So G Fuel got there in two days. Respawn took about seven days. So I don't know if you want to take that into consideration when you're buying these, but if you order the G Fuel, you're probably going to get this a little bit quicker if you want to drink like right away. But once again, you can buy these both on Amazon and you'll probably get better shipping there anyway. But these are both pretty freaking good. I think I prefer this over the Respawn Blue Raspberry that we did in the first time. I feel like I could drink this whole thing without getting a headache from how sweet it is. It does taste a little bit less sweet than the Blue Raspberry. But that being said, I massively prefer the G Fuel this time around. In the last one, it took me a little bit to decide, and I thought I preferred the G Fuel, and then after a while, I really started to prefer the G, prefer the G Fuel, but today, I can immediately say that the flavor that you get out of the G Fuel Green Apple is much better, tastes way better, sticks around longer, doesn't just turn into the generic sugary sweet taste. Um, I, don't, I don't even know how to describe the Respawn other than just... It seems like their drinks are just like really, really sweet, but it is a lot better than the blue raspberry. So between Razor Respawn, blue raspberry and green apple, I would definitely go for the green apple. I think it's better, but man, the G Fuel is miles better than the Respawn. I will tell you right now. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Every once in a while, I like to do these fun videos and just switch it up a little bit so we're not just constantly working on templates and tutorials and whatnot. You gotta have a little bit of fun content in there. And I like doing these G Fuel vs. Razor Respawn videos and just G Fuel videos in general. So I think I'm gonna be doing a lot more. I do plan on releasing more videos during the week as well as the weekend. So there might be some G Fuel videos coming during the week and then keep the templates and tutorials to the weekend. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And once again, I did prefer the G Fuel. So I gotta say again, this is not sponsored by G Fuel. I have no affiliation with them. I have no affiliation with Razor Respawn. Just upon trying both of these flavors, I prefer the G Fuel both times. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow me over on Twitch. I try to stream every Sunday and Tuesday. But I will see you guys in another video. Peace out.